Hello everyone, so I have a pretty interesting story to cover today and uh, this is a story from video cards that's making the rounds across a few tech sites at the moment. It says here that the Ukrainian law enforcement closed the mining farm with 3,800 PlayStation 4 consoles. So it looks as though you can mine on a PS4 console, a console that came out I believe in 2012. So that's almost 10 years ago and it's still profitable now and uh, we'll get into why that is in just a second. Now if you like this video make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel and we have a discord server come along join us there I'll leave a link in the description below. We have here Ukrainian security service discovered an underground crypto farm with 3800 PlayStation 4 consoles. Security Service of Ukraine, SSU, exposed a large illegal cryptocurrency farm in the city of Vinitisia. Now, Vinitisia, uh, I had to look this up because I didn't know where that was. Uh, this is Kiev right here uh, in Ukraine. Uh, so it looks like it's about 250 kilometers southwest of Ukraine. Um, and it looks like a pretty nice European city. <laughs> so um, I'll leave that for you to check out yourself. Uh, but it says here, this crypto farm had thousands of gaming consoles, graphics cards, and processors illegally connected to the power grid. So obviously they were just taking electricity and um, getting it for free, which is why these PS4 consoles are actually profitable mining. Uh, but we'll get into that in a second. Uh, it says here, are miners shifting to gaming consoles now? It would appear so as the crypto farm with nearly 3,800 game consoles was just discovered in Ukraine. So far, mining on PS4 has never been documented or confirmed to be working, but as Tom's hardware notes, even Game Boy and Commodore were already modded to mine Bitcoin. So with enough determination, money, and electricity, it shouldn't be surprising to see crypto coins also mine with consoles. Now, uh, this is the important bit. It says here, crypto miners were probably not concerned about the power efficiency of their mining operation as the facility was illegally tapped into the city's power grid. A sudden spike of power usage has certainly drawn the attention of law enforcement as a result, a discovery of this crypto farm. Now, they captured 3,800 game consoles. Now, I know that probably doesn't seem like a lot, but when you do the numbers, uh, it actually is quite a lot. Um, they've got more than 500 video cards, 50 processors, uh, draft documentation, electricity consumption accounting, notebooks, phones, and flash drives. Uh, so let's take a look at these pictures here. And you can see this is not a land party or anything that they're setting up. This is pretty clearly a mining farm and a very professional one looking too. Like uh, it looks like it's been, it's very tidy. So uh, this is a professional job. Uh, they just weren't very professional about stealing all the electricity. Uh, if we take a look at this other uh, photo that's been released and check this out. Um, so there's numbers here um, at the bottom of these PS4 consoles. They're up to 2,960. I don't know if you can see this, uh, but you can go to the video cards website to check yourself. Uh, so a lot of consoles there. And on over on the left, they've got uh, discs hanging out of these uh, consoles. So obviously, this is where all of those FIFA 15 copies go when uh, they need to clear them out. So I guess uh, that's probably what they're using here. And I think they need one to get around some sort of security. Like uh, in the past, when you've had to mod a system, usually you had to get into the game first or use a game disc somehow. Uh, and then you're able to get past the security. Uh, let me go to this Tom's Hardware article about the same thing. Uh, but I just wanted to highlight this point here. It says, the PS4 features 8 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory clocked at 5.5 gigabits per second. Across the 256-bit memory interface, the PS4 delivers a memory bandwidth up to 176 gigabytes per second. The Pro variant, on the other hand, has a memory running at 6.8 gigabits per second, offering up to 217.6 gigabytes per second. Now, that is no slouch, given that... Uh, 176 gigabytes per second, that is roughly equivalent to a 1060, which has about 192 gigabytes per second, and you can still mine on a 1060. Now they've compared it here to an RX 580, which has a memory throughput of 256 gigabits per second. I might have had that too small, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but uh, yeah, 
Radeon RX 580, 256 gigabytes per second. Now, uh, if we go to this what to mine table, we can see that the 580 roughly does about 30.5 mega hash a second. Now, this is hardware that came out in 2012 uh, and would have been like top of the line type of, uh, I guess, memory bandwidth uh, in there, even though it was only a mid tier uh, GPU. Uh, but this would have been very good mining hardware back then but maybe they didn't crack it or maybe they weren't uh, I guess as into the crypto craze as they are now and you can see here it makes two dollars a day and after electricity costs of about 10 cents per kilowatt hour uh, so that's what I put up here into this little power cost box uh, if, if you were to mine on this legally uh, you would make a dollar 68 which is uh, no slouch really like a dollar 68 is okay especially if you multiply it by 3800 consoles like if if you that's six thousand three hundred eighty four dollars per day and if you multiply that by per month you can see they're making two hundred thousand dollars a month which gives uh, the cops reason to go and crack down on this illegal mining outfit now, I'm sure the burning question that everybody has is, well, can you mine on a PS5? And this question was put to rest a few months ago. There was a, a claim that you could mine Ethereum on the PS5, but it turned out to be a hoax. So right now you can't mine on a PS5, but I'm sure there are hackers working at this because it's every single time we get a new console, they're always hacking it to try and get around it because there are all of these, I guess, uh, businesses or underground businesses that want to sell jail jailbroken consoles, uh, whether by like selling people discs and things or whether to sell them through a digital jailbroken store where they can just download whatever they wanted to for free. But um, I guess mining would probably be another thing uh, that would be quite lucrative for them as well. But in terms of the actual hardware inside, it has 448 gigabytes per second. So that would put it on the equivalent of a about a, a 3070. I'd imagine that it would probably be around 40 to 60 mega hash a second uh, type of system. Now, if you look at that, that would probably be about $5 a day. So I think uh, once it becomes possible to mine with the PS5, then uh, yeah, we're gonna have a problem with uh, shortages of these consoles again, which is not a good thing right now. So that's gonna be it for this one. I thought this was a pretty funny story to cover. So I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.